This is going to be part three. And what I want to talk about now is uh, pages, uh, because this is um, another concept that um, that is part of CSI that can be really, really, really useful. I think it's very useful. Um, and I personally have a, um, you know, something set up um, and I'll show you. So I call this main mixer, right? And you'll see it's the Pro X and the XS. So let's add a page and let's call this um, the arrange view um, or the track view, right? And we want it to follow the track control panel and we'll do uh, that same stuff we did before, okay? So the track view has um, nothing, and so let's add a surface, and we're gonna just do the same thing. We've got the Pro X, okay, which is the Pro X 2.1, and we're gonna go to the Pro X and the Pro X, and we're gonna select those same things, and we're gonna add the excess, and we're gonna select the excess 1.1, 1.1. Uh, EX and Pro X. Blah, blah. So, we've already got a function F1, which is this button here. It's labeled something else, but uh, it's called, um, it's for next page. You can also have, um, let's say I have, uh, let's say I make uh, F2. We would say go page and then we the name of the page will say track view okay let's just say we have that we have go page track view and so I told you that there were things that are um, that CSI inside of CSI wherever it is inside the computer uh, there are things that are already predefined you can't say something other than fa fast forward you can't say fast foe or something like that it has to be fast forward but there are some things that you can define that might be defined elsewhere like inside reaper for instance um, the indexes for um, certain record uh, automation modes and the uh, um, you know the the custom um, action code and that kind of thing or uh, maybe you're using like uh, you know, whatever it is, those things have to be in, put in quotes. So that's why that was my long about way of saying you have to put that stuff in quotes. All right. So let's save that. All right. Now. OK, so big deal, right? We did it. And if I do the button uh, F1, it looks the same. If I do F2, it looks the same. But. Okay, now, what if I take my track manager, all right, and let's say uh, the TCP only has odd numbers displayed. Now look at that. And the MCP only has even numbers. Okay, so you can see those are the evens and those are the odds. The evens and the odds, the evens and the odds. Okay, but... It doesn't help because nothing changes on screen, right? What we would see here, I can move all those down. You could see it up there. And then when I change that, now I'm on these and I can move those. But when I'm here, I'm not moving those. I'm moving those, right? So, uh, all right. So I think we get that so far. But now let's do something cool because I have screen sets, right? I use screen sets. And I have basically the arrange view with, uh, you know, a side or a uh, inspector, and then I've got a mixer view. So I'm going to show you something cool. I have a custom action here, uh, mixer toggle. Okay, it's a cycle action. What I'm going to do is get this uh, copy selected action command ID. We're going to go back into here where I have a uh, next page. Now, to do a custom Reaper action, you basically, you go Reaper, quotation marks, and copy your action ID, and save. Now, yes, you saw that right. I have one button defined with two actions. You can totally do that. And that's what's cool. All right, so now, let's come back here. 
Let's do our reset trick. Okay, now if I hit this, my surface follows. Uh, well, it's a little bit off. <laughs> But what was supposed to happen was it goes from the mixer to the arrange, but it's actually backwards. I guess what I could do is um, go in here, uh, edit, that'll be the track view. This will be the mixer view. Now if I do it, there's, there's the evens and there's the odds. So, and then I guess I could just uh, uh, come back in here and if I wanted to just change the name of those, you know what I mean? There you have it. I showed you how to set up the full surface, okay? I showed you how to modify your MST files and your zone files to do specific things, right, that might not come already pre-set up for you. There's a lot that's already set up, but to do the custom stuff, which you cannot do custom stuff with anything else, not to this level, we can now do that, so don't be afraid to get in there and start changing this stuff and making your surfaces exactly how you want them because that's uh, that's where this thing really, really starts to kind of come into its own and you start to see how much potential that you have with this. So, um, uh, And then also I showed you how to add other surfaces, uh, but I haven't shown you, oh, and I showed you pages, so you got lots of stuff now to do some custom things. There shouldn't be a single button on your control surface that isn't mapped to do something or something, all right? Uh, not only can you do the basic stuff, but now you can go in and make things. You can do your pages. Think about how you might do pages. I showed you one way that's only just doing... Uh, uh, different kind of views, but maybe you have like a record a record template versus a mixing template. Maybe you want to do like uh, if you're recording a band, you want to uh, switch between like your uh, you might have set up a headphone um, mixes. You know, inside of Reaper, you can do custom views and then set up specific, uh, you know, custom view on screen and custom view on here. So you can quickly go to headphone mixes and adjust those. Um, yeah, you could really do a lot, so.